In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who willed the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days, Grant that from out of the scattered nations, the, confu- the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his, in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ha 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. This past week, the results of the two-year process of Real Presence, Real Future, the strategic planning for the diocese was released. I ask for your prayers for the people of the diocese as well as its priests who will experience some substantial changes in some of their parishes. I'd also like to acknowledge the results for our own parish. The final recommendation which was approved is that we remain one parish, one school, with one pastor, but also are now a bilingual parish as we welcomed the Hispanic community of Licking County this last October. I feel this is very important for me to acknowledge on this, the Feast of Pentecost, 
because this brings us great opportunities for future growth of our parish, as well as some challenges that need to be addressed as we continue to grow into truly becoming a bilingual parish. It's also fitting that on the Feast of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descends like tongues of fire so that the faith in Jesus Christ may be proclaimed in every language to the ends of the earth. For us now to have within our parish structure staff who are able to address both English and Spanish speaking needs of our parishioners for the future. The celebration of Pentecost and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit reminds us that the church is always called to renewal as she fundamentally proclaims faith in Christ, risen from the dead. The renewal of the Holy Spirit just doesn't happen once, but is truly a transformative action that it always continues, not only within our individual hearts, but also in our parish community and the universal church. I mentioned last week that our parish staff is going through some transitions. But at the same time, over this past year, we have been working with information from a conference that some attended last July in Dallas called Divine Renovation, as well as the Real Presence, Real Future process in being designated a bilingual parish last October. It has allowed myself and some others to truly begin to look at how best to serve the future needs of our parish in light of the fundamental mission of the church, which we heard in last week's Gospel of the Ascension, to go and proclaim the good news of Jesus and to make disciples of all nations. It's that great commission from St. Matthew's Gospel. The transition, this transition and unique timing allows us the opportunity to build upon the great faith foundation of our parish. And at the same time, a time of renewal and of our organizational structure to meet and to best serve our future needs. Fundamentally, we need to be rooted in Jesus Christ and in the sacraments, most of all the Eucharist. We need to proclaim the mystery of his death and resurrection in the way that we live, to grow and to continue to deepen our faith in him as his followers, and by his grace to not only be personally transformed, but by our lives rooted in Christ to transform and bring the light of Christ to others so that we may have the courage to invite them as we encounter them into the great mystery of Christ risen from the dead. This is the life of the church. We have heard it proclaimed throughout this great season of Easter in the Acts of the Apostles. And just like the early church, we too are called to proclaim the saving mystery of Christ, risen from the dead. It allows us to be renewed once again in our own parish, to focus on the primacy of the spiritual nature of the church's mission to evangelize, to bring the good news of Christ to others, and to develop engaged followers and disciples. My brothers and sisters, I ask once again for your prayers for our parish during this time of transition, that we may indeed identify and have the right people come forward, especially 
as we celebrate the great feast of Pentecost and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the church. I truly feel and believe that we, as a parish, are continually both blessed and renewed as we are able now to look forward to the future as a parish together, full of hope and the Easter joy that Christ has indeed won for us. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us present our needs and our petitions to God our Heavenly Father. That the Holy Spirit, who makes present the mystery of Christ, will reconcile all people and bring them into communion with the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, will show his richness to all those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the relationships in our own lives may be made holy through the gift of the Holy Spirit, the bond of love in the Blessed Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls, for the repose of the souls of those who have died in the service of our nation and for all who continue to risk their lives in military service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, for Father Peter Claver, who was ordained to the priesthood in the Diocese of Columbus this weekend, and for an increase in more men who will answer the call to the vocation of the priesthood, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Marie George, Bob Wigan, and for all the faithful departed, that they enjoy eternal life with Christ in our risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Rosemary and Douglas Gordon, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear and answer the prayers that we make this day through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy gifts. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly battles with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, He took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your hand, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Earl, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of announcements. We will not be having adoration this Monday as it's Memorial Day. Also, uh, the parish office is, is, of course, closed on Monday as well. The appeal update, uh, so far, we're making great progress. So far, we've received over $72,000 in pledges. That's 84% of our goal, uh, toward our diocesan goal, of $86,000. So, thank you for your support and your generosity as we reach our 
diocesan parish goal of $86,000, a reminder every dollar that we get over that comes back to us 100%. That's out without the 8% diocesan assessment and is earmarked and designated to do various projects, including the parking lot and the side ramp here and the sidewalk as well. So thank you so much for your support, and I think that we'll definitely get to our diocesan goal and hopefully well exceed it. Next Saturday, June the 3rd, we are hosting a Protecting God's Children training session in Shepherd Hall. Uh, please see the bulletin for details, but any volunteers, especially with the school, need to have this class as well. And then also see the bulletin for the upcoming parish picnic on Sunday, June 11th, which is our feast day of uh, the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, as the Church of the Blessed Sacrament. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia.